Oh man, like the great solo when I do let us say, man, we in the matrix. Now ain't this some ish right here? So so Candace Owens, Candace Owens is snooping around and she's doing a documentary trying to find out where the money at. Now the money that I'm referring to is the money that Black Lives Matters, the leaders, the founders that they have received the donations, and we can't find out where that shit is at at this very important time. But but there's a lot of lavish things that they purchased, such as mansions and things like that. That, you feel me those folks are living real real good so candace owens pulls up to patrice colors the founder of black lives matter to see what's going on and and it's crazy because patrice is channeling her in a karen she went on live and said some things the candace owens came back on live and said some things back so we can get to all that but just to let you know right now this is an update with stace like the video and subscribe right now if you're new to my channel and turn all the note bells on too this video is sponsored by stace stop shop home of my merch collection the purpose collection is out now 20% off the entire store look good on the road to your purpose now let's get into these videos uh the right-wing media and right-wing pundits are creating a cr incredibly and have created an incredibly dangerous environment for me um this morning i woke up to candace owens being outside of my house with a news crew um she was demanding that I come outside um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property uh, and for some reason it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another black woman who is actually working as a part of a right wing agenda comes outside of my house with cameras. Um, as you all know, I've experienced and many of us have experienced death threats um, many of us are chil have children. Um, many of us are um, uh, super vulnerable. And uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to keep doing the work I need to do to make sure that I'm in right relationship with my community, but I'm not gonna let the right wing and right wing pundit, pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people many other leaders inside of this movement pay attention to what's happening because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms that may next time be more violent this is unacceptable black people should be able to fight for our rights for our right to live without being harassed without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives, without having people, strangers show up to our private and personal property. I am, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, thank God I called obviously my team, um, Thank God for, for community, for Black community, for Black movement community here in Los Angeles. Um, I just, I just really, really like, y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. 
So just be diligent when you see shit in the media and you see shit that's being talked about. Please be diligent because they are purposefully doing this. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people because they know that when we are together, we're stronger and they've seen what we've done this last decade. They've seen what we've done. And so they're literally trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy me. They're trying to destroy the movement. And I really, I just need us to be stronger. I need us to be more diligent. I need us to be more present. I need us to be clearer. I need us to be accountable. I love y'all so much. Um, Pray for me, pray for my family, and pray and check on Black organizers. Because this backlash that we're seeing, the backlash is real. The backlash wouldn't be as deep if you guys just simply, simply explain where the money at. Now here goes Candace. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Colors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only way I can describe it is she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way, we've got cameras in tow. So there's no way she can. It's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously. Patrice here is anti-police and so she's oh my god I think she's crying on this live pretending that she was harassed we like I said very politely to the guys or anyone we can speak to um, my name's Candace Owens we never went over the gate it was just me ringing the doorbell trying to speak to someone he said absolutely nothing he started just recording us and we said okay if there's no one we can speak to we're gonna leave um Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this Black Lives Matter lie is falling apart um, and she doesn't know what to do. I mean, people are aware of the scam that is Black Lives Matter. She's intentionally limited the comments so you can't even comment on this post because I was going to comment and be like, this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened. So what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits when in reality she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions used the faces of black people took millions of dollars to fund herself to fund her lifestyle to fund her girlfriend and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live so patrice um this footage that we this story that we're covering is a, a significant one i have always been interested in the fraud that is black lives matter your fake tears your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and and asking if there was anyone that i could talk to because i was covering the story um not really going to cut it patrice this is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding black people died you used their faces to raise money you demanded that the policing be stopped. You demanded that police officers be defunded, but you've got a private security detail um, outside of million dollar homes. It just doesn't work this way, sweetheart. So um, the truth shall set you free or Candace Owens shall set you free, girl, because I'm about to tell the truth. All right, we're still filming. Bye. Please don't take this as offensive, but Candace Owens is like that one little badass pit bull that you can't really control. You're kind of a little ashamed of, but sometimes when that pit bull attack and bite some people, you, you're kind of happy because some people probably deserve to get bite. So in this situation right here, run free, Candace. Go ahead and terrorize and figure out what the hell is going on because where is the money, man? What's going on with all the money, dog? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been another update with Stace. Please make sure you 
smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on all the notifications bells too. And on your way out, go ahead and check out states.shop, the home of all of my merch. The Purpose Collection is out right now. Go ahead and look good on the road to your purpose, man. 20% off everything on the shop. It's your boy Stacy, and I fuck with you. And the reason why, because you, you fuck with me. Yay, I'm out.